The Assembly of First Nations has been one of the groups pushing for a national inquiry into missing and murdered Aboriginal women. Today, the Prime Minister again rejected that option as the RCMP released a new sobering statistic. There are more than a thousand cases of women who've been disappeared or been killed since 1980. Catherine Cullen has that story. She was young then, mm -hmm. in her 20s. It's been more than 26 years since Marie Jean St. Sever's family last saw her. Her daughter still feels her loss acutely. The family believes St. Sever was killed by a boyfriend in Alberta. And Lorna Martin still hopes police will solve her mother's case. She has a strong spirit. She, she was always happy and um, just evidence that, you know, the residential schools did not crush her. Martin's mother is one case in a new, staggeringly high total, 1,186, according to new numbers from the RCMP. More than 1,000 of those cases of murdered or missing Aboriginal women were recorded after 1980. It's renewed calls for a public inquiry, with some suggesting it should focus on practical solutions for stopping violence against Aboriginal women. A national inquiry would be um, not only beneficial but critical at this point. A recommendation for a public inquiry was in the initial draft of a report prepared for a parliamentary committee and obtained by the CBC. And CBC News has learned a Conservative majority on the panel voted to drop that recommendation, along with the suggestion the federal government hold a national meeting with victims' families. Why are the Conservatives ignoring the police, victims and the families? And why are they continuing to refuse to call a national inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women? but the government has long insisted an inquiry is the wrong response. Now is not the time for more studies. Now is the time to take action. action. The Prime Minister was asked about murdered and missing women today and insisted his tough-on-crime stance was a more effective approach than an inquiry. He says his government has adopted several laws to punish criminals and better protect people. The RCMP says it will release a comprehensive report on missing and murdered Aboriginal women in the coming weeks, meaning pressure on the government is likely to continue. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa.